One of the very first videos I ever did on the purple alphabet was on these counting bears where I just showed you what they were and that they were one of my favorite tools to learn for learning. I still have those counting bears, but I wanted to pull them out, reinvent them, find some new things and new activities that we can do with these counting bears because I know a lot of you have them and these activities are really easy and quick to put together. Hey, hey you guys, this is Christina from the Purple Alphabet. These counting bears have been in my house for a couple years now. We've used them and used them and then kind of tucked them away and forgot about them and didn't use them for a long time until recently when I went back into my closet and found them. So I thought, you know what? I need to pull these back out and think of some activities to share with all of you guys because I'm pretty sure a lot of you have these counting bears. They're kind of one of those first manipulative kind of things that you buy uh, when you're starting your home learning kind of journey. I have this big bucket of counting bears and I'm gonna show you some activities that you can do that will reinvent these and put some life back into them. If you don't have any counting bears, that's okay. You can use something else that you probably already have around the house. But if you want some, I'll put them in my Amazon store so you can go check them out. In order to do counting bears activity, you of course need bear counters. <laughs> this is the very, very first set I ever, ever bought. And it is the most amazing one. It's held up so well. It was one of my very, very, very first Purple Alphabet videos. If you've been a long time fan, then you have seen these. This is a bucket of bears counting bears that come in a rainbow of colors from learning resources. And what's special about this bucket is that one, they come in so many fun colors, but two is they're three different sizes. There's a large, medium, and small in every single color. So that's what I really like about this because you can do some really great extension activities. So of course you can do the simple color sorting by color, like all the purple together, all the red, all the green. Then you can do them uh, sorting by different sizes, the small ones versus the medium ones versus the large larger ones. I mean, those are pretty obvious activities and those are the ones I actually talked about in my very, very first video. So I wanna see if I can show you some other activities you can do as an extension of that. The first is to use this as a manipulative. And I have some flashcards here. These actually came from the Target dollar spot. They are just a dollar for the whole pack and a little pouch. There's all these little flashcards with a dry erase marker. I recently showed you in another video, the addition set. This is the subtraction set. So you can do both. You don't need these cards. You can simply write out math problems if you want or use magnetic numbers or however you want. I'm just gonna use this for our sake. And so it's just simple of, of following the problem and using the bears as manipulative. So in this case, we have eight plus six is their top equation. So I have eight red bears. If you wanted to, you could use the same size. I'm just gonna use the same color. So I have eight here plus six purple ones here. Then we would add these together, find the answer and write it in with our dry erase marker. And you could repeat the process for the whole entire card. I also want to show you how you could use 10 frames with the same kind of idea. This little set came from Lakeshore Learning. It's under $5 for the set. So I'm just gonna take out the actual 10 frame here. For your most simplest basic math, you could ask your child any number. Like say three for instance these are just little flash cards once again something really simple you can do on your own and then they would place three bears on the 10 frame to show three so this is your your you know older toddler early preschool age if you wanted to make it into a math equation you can add a second number three plus two and they could add on the additional two bears because they already have the three in a different color and then it's a matter of adding one two three four five the answer is five and just real quick if you wanted to add a second 10 frame instead of doing it on one card that way you can get larger numbers for the most advanced adder then it would look something like this where you have three plus two so three plus two equals five when you count them all together i like the 10 frames because they give you an actual spot to put your bear on so it's a great visual clue as to how many are there and plus you use 10 frames a lot in common core learning of math alternatively to that i have some number bars here once again from lakeshore learning and they are just under five dollars for this pack they kind of look like number rods i've been showing you these a lot recently and even in a restaurant kit video on instagram where my child was learning how to use these so um, lots of different ways i have a whole video on how you can use this set in activities that you might want to check out it's from maybe last year so same kind of concept i'm going to take the four and the five here i just matched up the colors because the colors happened to match and so now i have my purple bears which are five and my red bears which are four we would add them up so that we know the answer is nine very similar to using the 10 frames. I like that they have those little spaces on them so those, I, I can um, use those as units that go into the number. Then you can also 
take the bar, that's the answer, here's the nine, and clearly see that those two numbers equal the nine. These bars are great for a visual representation, and when you use them with the manipulatives, it just really helps outline the quantity that is going into your addition problem. If you are an avid Purple Alphabet fan, then you also know I've shown these to you before way back in the day. They're also from Learning Resources. They are a set of sequencing cards, and since I did a whole video on just these cards, kind of showing you what they consist of, they are basically just sequencing. So you could pull out one card and place the bears on top of them and you figure out the patterns. So these are a great beginner set. You don't need these if you don't want to purchase them because you can just do sequencing right in a row on the floor. Something like this will work really well in asking your child what comes next in the sequence. Or perhaps you wanna use those 10 frames again and you can set up a sequencing pattern like this, what comes next. You can also have them matching the pattern above on the below line. Or you can take a second 10 frame, set up one as a sample, maybe something like this, and then have your child do some visual discrimination and copying the, the sample that you've made. There's a lot of possibilities for this one, and it's a really, really great visual discrimination activity that you can do very simply. Don't need the 10 frames, but it's very helpful because the 10 frames kind of help you keep those, those spots all in line. You can also print out 10 frames on the internet for free. There are two books that I wanted to show you to help take these materials a little bit further. I have two of them. I haven't really used them that much, so if you have these at home, let me know your experience. I really am curious to know. The first one I want to show you is probably for the uh, preschool age, maybe a little bit earlier, and these books just kind of walk you through in a rhyming kind of fashion and a story and in a story form about the bears. And so you're basically kind of following along the story and pulling out the bears that they're talking about as they go through and tell you what to do. So there's a lot of simple color matching and counting that goes on in this book. And then all the way towards the end, the skills get a little bit more advanced with some simple addition and some other activities. And you just follow along using the bears as you read the story. For a little bit older child, there's this one, it's called the Teddy Bear Math Book. And this one also has some really simple things but I put it more on the kindergarten first grade level probably. The beginning pages are really fun and easy. There's some graphing that you do as you read along and then there's some really simple math but then towards the end it does get a little bit into some division and multiplication but in a very hands-on way. I think it might be just slightly too advanced but it could be a good introduction if you are walking through it with your child. So that's why I'm curious to see your experience with it and how your children took to it. But these are two great materials that you can use to kind of extend your life of the counting bears other than just color sorting and counting and using them for um, basic manipulatives. For these next ones, I'm gonna bring out this balance from Learning Resources again. It's called the Primary Bucket Balance. I actually have a whole entire video on activities to do with this balance. Here's what it looks like. It also comes with these two buckets. So many activities you can do with this one. This is definitely one to invest in. I'll have to put it in my store. And it's just a balance that goes like this. And each side has a bucket. Now what's cool with these particular bears is that they're three different sizes. So you can play a lot of games with deciding which are heavier. But for our purposes, I'm just gonna say put two small bears in here. And then what would make that balance out? Two other small bears. And then you can't see it, but there's a little dial right here that tells you whether or not if it's balanced. So this is teaching really, really simple simple algebra, like on the very basic level of understanding that this is equal to this and it balances out. If you wanna get more complicated, you can add in different size bears and figuring out what would make it balance on the other side. If you wanna do some simple greater than, less than kind of equations, you can put your numbers. So say this bucket's gonna have three, this bucket's gonna have two. You can make these flashcards. Don't feel like you have to buy those exact ones. And then you can put three bears of the same size in one side and two in the other and see which one is greater than or less than. And as we know, if we're doing greater than three is the greater, one than two. And of course, since writing things down is pretty crucial, I have a dry erase board here and you can probably do a set of equ equations on the dry erase board ahead of time and have a little bit of um, pre-made equations so they could put four on one side, six on the other. 
look at the dial to determine which side is greater than or less than and fill it in on the dry erase board and just do every single one that way. I also prepared a tray right here of different objects and I listed out the objects here on my dry erase board and so now I want to know how many bears it would take to be equal to each one of those objects. So let's say we're doing the tape. What's great about this scale is that the buckets are really big that I can put the whole tape in there. And now we need to find out how many bears it'll take to balance that out. And it looks like for this, four bears is equal to the tape. And then you can have some fun with the other objects. And these are just things I found around the house. And then I even have some like foam blocks up here that you can play around with and do a lot of equal or less than. This is probably a little bit more advanced thinking, but on the, even on the simplest form, even kindergartners could even be able to understand what they're doing and trying to make this balance. Lots of fun, lots of early math skills being taught with these activities. Let me know if you have counting bears in your house and how you use them, and maybe you're gonna pull them back out and how are you gonna use them when you do? Make sure to click subscribe to see more videos like this and give me a thumbs up to share your love.